sponsored by Executive Homes. It was a beautiful day today, a lot warmer than what we experienced yesterday. If you think back to yesterday at this time, temperatures were chilly down in southeast Oklahoma where they only climbed in the 40s. Well, we saw a 10, 15 degree bump across the area and temps for your afternoon highs. Normal high near 50 degrees. Well, above that, we're going to just keep soaring above that the next couple of days. Even though today is the first day of winter, fall and a colder than the first day of winter. How about that? Tulsa at 55 degrees right now, so temperatures have settled back down prior at 46 degrees. Tahlequah at 50, McAllister 54. It is cool and it's going to be cool this evening with temperatures falling back down to 40. So you probably need the jacket once again if you're heading out about through the evening hours. The winds are going to increase some. These are going to be our wind gusts. Nothing too extreme through Thursday. It's Friday that really bounces up as we welcome in Christmas Eve on Friday. Gusty southwest winds up to 30, 35 miles per hour. So hold on to the holiday de decorations. The winds are going to be intense, uh, breezy, but not too bad the next 24, 48 hours. Check out temps. So the cold air has now pushed to the northeast of us away from the area. The northeastern United States, quite chilly. Baltimore and D.C. and Philly in the upper 30s, lower 40s. Miami, Florida, nice and warm, 73. Houston at 56. Pottery Island at 63 degrees, while much of Texas nice and warm. This warm air to our southwest is going to continue to move back to the north. And what we're going to see over the next 7 to 10 days is this cold air begin to settle back into the west, and there is going to be a battle. And sometimes the cold air is going to win. And right now, our data is only keeping any cold air winning around for like a day. And you'll see that 10-day forecast where it's really, really warm, cold, really, really warm, cold. And so that's just the battle we're going to have to deal with over the next uh, 7 to 10 days. Meanwhile, in the beginning, though, the cool air here in the lower 60s, not too bad, still above normal for this time of year. Friday, very warm. Cool front arrives, upper 60s, bounces into the 70s on Sunday, and then starts to cool some Monday and Tuesday. And just north of here, it's actually really, really chilly in Kansas, where temps will be in the 40s. And then by next Wednesday, we will dip down the 40s for a day before bouncing back up again as the warm air looks to win out this go around. 68 on Saturday, 73 on Sunday. Beautiful weekend in store for the area. Great weekend to be outside. Enjoy some of those new toys. Outside right now, it's 55 with the south wind at 6 miles per hour. Humidity at 48%, so not bad. It's not too dry out. Temperatures this morning start off cold in the upper 20s. We did climb to 60 degrees this afternoon. So tomorrow morning, pretty similar to this morning. 30 degrees to start your morning prior 32. Jackets needed tomorrow morning by afternoon. Another beautiful day, upper 50s to near 60 degrees for your afternoon highs. So we're going to near 60 on our Wednesday. Let's break that down, day down for you. Temperatures start out in the 30s to start your morning and then climbing into the upper 50s as we head towards the 3 o'clock hour. The high about 3.30 should be around 60 degrees. And then tomorrow evening, a little chilly. You're going to look at Christmas lights. Temperatures in the upper 40s at the 7 o'clock hour. So 60 should be our official high tomorrow with south winds 5 to 15, 63 on your Thursday. Mid 70s Friday, near 70 on Saturday, 73 on Sunday. And then here's where it starts to get really interesting. So warm Tuesday, cold Wednesday, warm Thursday, and the fall and weekend, the first weekend of 2022 might turn really cold once again with temperatures in the 40s. We'll have much more for you coming up right after.